fix on Dash Radio. Get the that was a cool little discussion we had with Nia Riley with the little hot topics. Yeah, know? I like when we bring people in here to get their point of view, and it's not just us, and then the conversation flows really well. I think the listeners love that, too, because they may want to know what that artist or actor or whatever actress thinks on those topics. So, you know, um, that was definitely something dope that we did add to the fix. You know, we putting that work in, you know. Of course. Um, but we got another <laughs> dope actor in the building. You want to go ahead and give him that grand entrance? Right. I have a meet Ian Simmons. What's up, yo? Say what's, what's up. What's up, y'all? What's up, How man? How y'all doing, man? Man, thank you for coming, man. I know you're real busy, man. I saw you got on that flight last night, yeah, right? 4 a.m., man. 4 a.m., and you here early, man. That's some dedication, man. Hey, some man. mad if love you, to the fish. you're five minutes early, you're you way too late, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. You was hours early. We're going to show you mad time. love, though, for that. Hey, thank you for having me, guys. Man, Appreciate it. You. So tell us where you're coming from. So right now, I live in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Um I was out there basically, um, I, well, I originally moved out there to play uh, football. I was playing arena football for a while, and um, I actually kind of like accidentally fell into acting recently. Mm -hmm. um, when I was younger, I, I did a lot of stage and theater and all that stuff, and I kind of, you know, fell away from it because I fell in love with football, mm -hmm. and that was, my, that was my first love. I always wanted to be in the league, and I had my shot, and, you know, one thing led to another. It didn't happen. You know, that's life. Yeah. But um, I, uh, you know, I met a friend of mine, uh, Zach Andrews. He was playing in the in the D League for the Lakers, and he was like, "Hey, like, come out to L.A. You know, I want to introduce you to some people, mm -hmm. and um, I want you to go, you know, to a couple auditions." And honestly, I I was just bullshitting. Like, I was just like, "All right, whatever." Like, I'm almost I'm almost thirty. Like, nothing's yeah. gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my boys um, and childhood friends, he was like, hey, like I, I got this web series. You know, we're about to air season three of Old Head. Mm -hmm. You know, audition for it. So, he, you know, he sent me the lines. You know, I just put my phone on, read the lines. They were like, oh, you, you got it. I'm like, what, what, do, what do you mean? He was like, no, 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 no. Like, this this role is yours. Like, you ran away with this. Yeah. Like, just show up in Philly. Like, we're going to we're gonna film this. So, yeah. you know, I, I showed up not really knowing what to expect, mm -hmm. you know, and honestly like the the from the cast the directors to producers all the people behind the scenes like when i say like these guys put their hearts and souls into this project like the fact that this independent thing you know started on youtube and now you know like we have rappers we have other actors coming in and you know giving their full heart and effort into this like it made me like look at myself be like yo i really got to bring my a game like i can't mess this up i'm not gonna be the weak weak link yeah. and you know just the energy that i like i felt like i just felt like you know this is what i should be doing mm -hmm. and you know i kind of you know put aside the dream of you know playing football again and i was just like you know what like i'm gonna give this you know everything i got and right now i'm just running with it and i love it like i'm not doing this acting stuff for money or for fame like I truly enjoy doing this, you know, yeah. being able to truly like step into another character's shoes and become that person. Like mm -hmm. to me, that's just that's just fun. You basically get to play pretend. Like the first scene, I'm not gonna give away too much, but the first scene that I'm in is it was a lot of fun filming. It was, it was okay. crazy. That's what's up, yeah. man. That, and you know, when somebody actually loves the craft, mm -hmm. it'll show on. You know, it'll mm -hmm. show on the film. You know, it's not like you're just doing it for money. Yeah, you got this dude gonna be in the Shamar Moore uh, biopic. <laughs> you know, just like we got the we got the sign. I you up waiting, uh, wait, listen, I get called a lot of stuff. I'm like Omari uh, Hardwick Jr. Something. and shit in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you do uh, fitness too, right? Yeah, man, that's um, that's something that you know I was doing originally just in the off season. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was playing, mm -hmm. you know, just training and all that stuff, and then I somehow evolved into becoming this like booty building coach I, I call myself the master trainer m-a-s-s-t-e-r -S -S -E <laughs> so no, no. <laughs> i like I, I don't know like i just gotten i, I just you know ran with it and mm -hmm. you know the clients that i have are just all like amazing you know mm -hmm. well they're primarily women i used to train athletes but mm -hmm. 90 like 90 percent of my at, um, athletes 90 percent of my clients are women and mm -hmm. you know it's just cool to you know not only you know, like, like physically transform people but you really get to like transform people's lives like mm -hmm. i have you know a girl who was hit by a bus Damn. and couldn't walk for almost a year and you know she gained a lot of weight she had she had a hard time you know 
basically getting her self-esteem and confidence back. And, mm-hmm. you know, she's down almost like 40 pounds now and, you know, wow. doing stuff that she physically didn't even think she was going to be able to do. And, you know, working with people like that, like that, that it's just a rewarding, you know, job. And honestly, like, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I, I know that I, like, want to do acting, but I'll somehow stay in fitness mm-hmm. so in some capacity, just, you know, being able to work with people. But, you know, it's, it's time to really, you know, give this acting thing my all. Like, I, I really, really enjoy doing it. That's what's up. Well, yeah, you should continue to do that. So the name of this, um, like, episode series that you're a part of, right? Yeah. It's, it's called Old Heads, right? Old Head, yeah. Okay, so do you, what's the name, the yeah. Old Heads? So an Old Head is basically, you know, a an older um, person or authority figure or, like, you know, someone that you look up to that basically, you know, shares their wisdom with you and shares their life with you and kind of – you know, basically puts you on the right path. And I know I get a lot of crazy looks when people are like, wait, old head, like, what does that mean? And Mm -hmm. basically it's, you know, a mentor. And we all have that person in our life, you know, whether it's your your mom, dad, a cousin, you know, some old guy in the the neighborhood, one of your older friends that you went to high school with. Like, we always have that person in our life that tries to steer us down the right path. And at the core of the show, that's really what it's about. There's always some sort of, well, primarily black male figure, which, you know, a lot of us, you know, some of us growing up, we didn't really have like an authoritative, you know, black male in our life. Mm-hmm. And um, that's just what the core of the show really is, you know. But at the same time, like the show really does, you know, dive deep into, you know, the drugs and the violence and, you know, all the crazy shit that's happening in Philadelphia. And that's where the show is primarily, you know, located. And this season, we're going to branch out. So we call it our old head universe. So we have, you know, the core cast from season one and two but now we're expanding it so my character is his name is manny he's he's new to the season we have maybe like 10 20 new people is he puerto rican he's yeah so he's oh, half so, he, that nah, yeah, so he he's he's, <laughs> he's a, a half breed like me <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, yeah so he yeah he's black he's black in puerto rican so you can't be black and have the name manny. oh no no yeah, manny's nah, just black yeah, i don't know yeah, manny's yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now nah, yeah yeah he's he's half black half hispanic and so it was kind of easy for me to like um get into the character because, you know, it. I could relate to him on um, a lot of levels. And he's a very, um, I wouldn't say cold, but he's he's sick of the situation he's in. Mm-hmm. And his cousin um, is involved with a character from season one and two that he should not be involved with. And mm-hmm. me being, the, you know, the hothead I am, you know, as the character, he, he does what he can to get him out of a bad situation. And... Um, I don't want to give away too much, but you know, you guys are really gonna like my character and you know the dynamic between me and um, my co-star Ricky T. He's out right now, you know, doing a tour for uh, his rap stuff. So if you're watching Ricky, do your thing, bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, th- this season, um, you know, our, our director Tony Chenault, he really elevated the entire you know series and what he's done and the way that you know this season is gonna wrap up is gonna be. It's going to be good. People really need to pay attention to this and watch it. There's a lot of talent in it, and the writing is probably, you know, I honestly, like, maybe I'm biased. I think it's on par with some of the big shows that are out right now. Okay. So it's, it's going to be good, and, you know, everyone does need to pay attention to this. So you said your, your co-actor is a rapper? Yeah. So uh, on the rap topic, what type of music you listen to? Honestly, I listen to... S- everything like mm-hmm. i don't really have like one person in particular that i like right now mm-hmm. but man you better break that down man I just, <laughs> honestly i'll listen like, like i honestly, swear like, it's the tap no, dancing like, day everybody honestly, tap dancing around dancing. all the questions honestly like all right so i know it's gonna be controversial like i was a huge kanye fan and then he's got me at a crossroads right now but right now r- right <laughs> i would say it's, it's been a long time guys. he's been he's been making me be like what are you doing? Man, because like, you know how earlier you said in the black community we don't have too many black fathers. That yeah. I mean, this dude said when he put that "Make America Great Again" hat on, it made him want to like re- feel like Superman because he feels like he can bond and get that feeling from that, Donald that, Trump. That, Listen, he, wanna go play, I, he wants to play catch dad. with oh, Donald I, Trump. I tried to like avoid your sport this, of I football. Try, he I, wants to play catch with Donald I, Trump. I, I how do you feel to about avoid that? this topic? Like, <laughs> so when it when it comes down to it, like. I understand what Kanye was trying to say, but he was talking about like in a different dimension. Like I don't, I don't know. Like 
to me personally, you know, just the climate we're in, we do need to have open dialogue between both sides. Mm-hmm. We just we just do like not speaking to each other and just pointing fingers at one another. Yeah. That's not what we need to do. We need to mm-hmm. have open, honest discussions and respect and yeah, other and, people's yeah. opinions. And, you know, yeah. you may be, you know, we may not you may we may be from different cultures. You mm-hmm. might, you know, feel one way. That's fine. Like I respect is America. Like you can feel and believe that way. But you're going to hear me out and I will listen to you mm-hmm. right now. We're at a point where it's like, listen to me. No, 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 no. fuck you. I'm not going to. No, like we, yeah. need, we need to sit down and have open dialogue. Now, mm-hmm. is Kanye the person to do that? Nah. Yeah. Like, nah. But we do need other leaders in the community that aren't going to be afraid and just be like, fuck Donald Trump. No, like go speak to him. Mm-hmm. Let's actually try to get something done. Because if you actually watch the whole interview, because I know a whole bunch of news networks, you know, Chop just pick. Yeah, yeah. If you really listen to what Kanye was saying, some of Eighty percent of what he said was like it made sense. Eighty? Like, That's a lot of. I, well, like, I was, if you really, if you really, listen, I, I did it hear sense. most of it, and I under, yeah, there was his, some stuff that made sense, but his his delivery, but his is delivery all is all over just the place. Bad, man. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? Man? Now, see, just what stop. if he was smart? What he should have did was he should have came out with a hat that said "Make America Great." Not That's, again. Yeah. Take did. the. No, no, take the again part out. He, did, he mentioned that in the interview. That, oh, he did? That he brought some hats that say, make America great, because he said he knows again. Was I think there was like a photo. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I didn't actually see the video. Because it, now they're saying, it. they putting hats out that says, make Kanye's jaw uh, rewired, <laughs> wired shut again. On, that, that, and, you know, I got one that says, make uh, Kanye great again, which I'm going to wear next week on the show. You know, I'm going to wear that. I'm going to bring that back. That I'm going to give it to all the guests. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> You know, I just feel like a lot of shit that Kanye does is like it's just not well thought out. He's, and I, and I he's think out of pocket right I now. I think it's a little suspect that his wife ain't really been beside him a lot lately. Yeah. It, it might be There's, heading to the, another if you, direction. If you really look, like yeah. they've been throwing a little bit of low blows at each other. Exactly. Yeah. And he's becoming bad for her brand. And that Kardashian yeah. Listen, brand. Listen, at the end is, of the day, the Kardashians yeah. will protect their brand, and mm-hmm. I don't, I don't blame them. Yeah. You got you got to protect them, and this will push them right back in the forefront of we couldn't deal with his shit no more. Mm-hmm. You got a couple books, you got a whole season of Kim dealing with all the the drama. Hey, listen, I'm not him. gonna lie, I watched every episode of that show this year because the shit that's been going on with them is crazy. Uh, and I, 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 I like I can't, I know I can't <laughs> wait to see the stuff with Kanye though. But yeah. like, I just hope he like I hope he just like becomes like coherent again and gets his shit together because you can tell like something's off with him so that that that's touching on the the acts that he's done how do you feel about his music though lately within the lately, last two, um, two to three i thought three i thought he was he's he's too big of a, a legend in my eyes to be doing you know stuff with little peep as catchy as and uh, not little mm-hmm. peep um little pump, Lil pump. Mm-hmm. as catchy as that shit was you know 30 days later like it initially i'm like what are you doing man yeah. Like, I I just expect better from him. Mm-hmm. What did you think about the last album? Um, two songs were okay. The rest of the I I just thought like, I feel like Kanye like falls in love with like what's trendy. Yeah, what's trendy, but also like just you know the flying people out. Like he the production of yeah. it. I think he likes being like yeah. the grandmaster of everything. Mm-hmm. Whereas it's like. Just go back to making good music. Exactly. Like, what happened? But see, it's and this, crazy and, and, though, because I never saw I never saw him to be someone to be such an attention seeker. I did. I didn't ori- originally. Like, well, you, I mean, I was younger and I wasn't really like yeah. listening if you, if to him. If you really him. watch really, him, yeah. he, he loved if it. If you read the definition of narcissism, like yeah, that that's Kanye. They said that he would be in studio sessions with Jay Z. And didn't care about it. nothing Jay Z was talking about. It was like, listen to me, 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 me. Let hear my beats. Now nah, you're gonna hear me rap. I'm gonna stand on this desk. You all gonna hear me rap. I'm gonna be the biggest rapper, yeah. producer. He was saying all this shit even like, way back in the day. Yeah, even if like what uh I watched this interview that Jamie Foxx did. Jamie was like, Hey, like I met this dude um way back in the day, you know, this dude like he just had his mouth wired shut and all this stuff and they were doing um what was that song that uh Through the Wire? Nah, it was uh, the song that uh, Jamie did right after uh, Ray. He did it with... Oh, uh, um, with... Uh, why am I forgetting? Gold Digger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, I guess, like, Jamie tried to go, you know, a different route. And Kanye... This is before Kanye was Kanye. Kanye was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, shut the fuck... Like, we're not singing like that. And Jamie was like, wait, hold up. Like, who are you? He's like, no, 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 no. So, like, 
even back then, before he even was the Kanye that we know, he was already, like, checking people and, you know, I guess you could say being a narcissistic and stuff. But, I mean, it worked for so long because the guy, honestly, you, we, we got to admit, like, the first, what, four, five albums were genius. And stuff I've yeah, not of us ever heard before. Classics. And then, like, this is no disrespect to him. I feel like after his mother passed away, he kind of went in the direction that, you know, while I, I, I liked, I still appreciated his music, I just felt like that was, like, the beginning of, you know, the end. where Everything he is that, now. Yeah. yeah. So he's basically always been the same person and just enhanced. Yeah, I think he's always he's been. he's been through some mm-hmm. very life changes, yeah. you know, big life Which, changes. Which, yeah, I mean, however, how you re- react to, you know, life changes and whatever, like, you, every, you, there is no right way to react. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I think we can definitely, you know, agree that after, you know, his mom passed, which would, be, would have been traumatic for anybody, I feel like he started drifting down this path that, you know, we kind of lost, you know, the old Kanye, as everybody's been saying. So, yeah. question in this um, old heads, do you feel like your character does he often drift like on different paths for him to like um, make I the th- wrong decisions? Think, no, I think for him, um, and just you know the way I interpreted the character and the, what I wanted to portray was that he's just tired of the path he's been on, and I tried to show that he he doesn't really say it because he has to be such a strong character. Mm-hmm. But you can get the sense from, you know, his body language and the way he, you know, observes people. And, you know, I kind of threw in a couple, like, I kind of went off lines a couple bit um, and threw in little things. You know, he kind of throws in, like, little side jabs at everybody. And you kind of get the sense, like, oh, this dude is done. Like, he, he's, he wants out. Mm-hmm. And, um, again, I don't want to spoil it, but... You, you, well, you'll see with him um, that Manny is just a guy that's trying to trying to do right because he's been doing wrong for so long. And, you know, I think that's just growing up. And I can relate to that. Like, you know, growing up, I was wild in my, you know, early 20s and stuff. And then at some point I was like, Ian, you got to grow up. Early like, 20s? You look like you like 20. Man, I'm almost 30 now. <laughs> wow, there you go. A young whippersnapper. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. It's funny because like I like I I've gone to auditions where like okay you're gonna be a 16 year old. I'm like yeah. 16. Like I. That's good for yeah, your career. It's, it's good. Yeah. Like, I can go from 16 to 40. I'm yeah, like all right, yeah. cool. Bet. Like yeah, that's all that's that working fine, out and eating right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good you genetics. Because you could easily look like you 45. <laughs> There's a lot of black dudes. Gosh, they ain't gosh. taking care of themselves, looking bad. I know. Maybe like I try I'm 20, to. I'm I try 21. to. I try to do right. I try to do right. I've been slacking <laughs> right. a little bit on you know working out and eating good, but nah, yeah. I, I, I'm just like I'm just blessed to be in the position I'm in now. Like I never thought in a million years that I would actually, you know. Be on a fix. Yeah, that too. <laughs> exactly. I appreciate you. Be Thank on the fix. <laughs> Waking me up at four a.m. Um, but uh, no, chop I, that up, buddy. You gonna chop that up for me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just been it's been a fun ride so far. I mean, I'm a year in now. And yeah. I'm just looking for you know the next opportunity. Mm-hmm. So I mean, one one thing about me is I'm I'm not afraid of hard work, and I'll mm-hmm. I'll talk to anybody and you know and just you know work at my craft and all more and work on my body and stuff but i really you know this is something i want and i feel mm-hmm. like if you want something you know we all got up at the crack of dawn and we're all here mm-hmm. it's because we want to do this like yeah. the money like that's all good and shit but like mm-hmm. you gotta love you gotta love what you do yep. and i love what i do right now definitely i love Aww, that keep it up you know it. <laughs> single tier <laughs> <laughs> now nah, that's what's up yeah stay in your bag you know keep grinding and <laughs> Just, you know, keep showing that passion, and I'm pretty sure everything's going to fall into place for you. But yeah, and then when, oh my bad, when you hit season two, you got to come back. Yeah. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Because then we back. can really get into your character, you know, what happened on this scene, that scene, you know. Definitely yeah, we'll, got to come we'll, back, we'll, man. We'll dig a little deep into it, yeah. yeah. But You nah, got to get Codigo on the show. You know? I know. You know, ask them if they need an edgy, <laughs> you know, hey, like, if you, blunt, hey, listen, red. If you, Afro girl on there. I'm here. We're always, hey, we're always looking for some new characters. She's not a model. Like, I know. I know. For the next season, we're gonna expand even more. And you know, I know, uh, our director Tony, he's gonna have you know some stuff up his sleeve. And so we're gonna probably you know expand the the little universe out a little bit more. So um, and if there's one thing I could tell actors, you know, if you're up and coming right now, mm-hmm. don't be afraid to do stuff for free and like work on a web series, work on 
you know, actually more importantly, create your own content. Yeah. Because at least you get to control your own destiny. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, you know, don't expect to jump out the gate, be like, oh, I'm gonna be, you know, in the new Avengers movie. No, mm-hmm. sorry, it's just not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Yeah. So, like, you know, if you do have an opportunity to be on a web series or something independent, one hundred percent do it and commit to it because you never know who's watching. Yep. Yeah, yep. and you definitely need to come work out with me, yo. I got like, you. You gotta come work out with me. I'm gonna start, you know, a little series, you know. A little, I don't want to tell everybody everything yet, <laughs> you know. But just know there will be some fitness, and Uh-oh. I would love for you to come join me. So. I, I'm your guy. I got you. I'll be there. Codigo trying to shoot her shot on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, you know. I'm fucking with you now. She really got it. She really got. She really does. Like got a thing going on. Simmer. <laughs> <down>. <laughs> 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 We definitely have to do that, but thank you so much oh, for no, coming of through. I'm so happy you woke up at 4 a.m. I know. To fix. I feel real special right now. Aww. I feel real nah, special. I appreciate <laughs> you guys. Get, get out of here, yo. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. So there you have it. We're going to take a small break and we're going to come back with the next guest. You listen to The Fix on Dash Talk X. 